Hi everyone, welcome back to Caltex Academy. Have you ever seen the most hardest algebraic question? And this is one of the equations which is really most ridiculous. So pause the video and work it out, share your solution with us. So let's go together and see whether we can really get a solution for this question that says we need to solve for x when we're given x plus 1 equivalent to x. So what happens is if you take this x to the left hand side, you'll have x minus x. Like if I do it here, I have x minus x plus 1 equals to 0. This automatically goes to 0. And we have here 1 is not equivalent to 0. It cannot work. So what do we do, members? This is a serious test for us. And let's try to work it out together to see what we can really do. If you have better methods, please help us out to see which solution will be for x. So I've also tried it this way, where I take this one to the right hand side and I have my x is equivalent to x minus one. Then I decided to square both sides of this equation where this side here is squared and that is x and also square this and of course this remains as x square equals that as you shortcut here x square we multiply 2 by x by negative 1 and we get negative 2 x and we square the last term here and we get positive 1. Now the next thing here is to simplify by bringing this to the right hand side where we have our original x here minus the x that came from the left hand side. Then we copy our two terms plus 1. So you can see that this x square is crossing out and we're left here with only negative 2x plus 1. Now when I bring 2x to the other side it is going to positive and we have here 1. Because our main target is to get the value for x as the question suggests. So dividing both sides by 2 we get one half. Now, our x value is one half. Is it true or not? Let's look at proof. And remember, our question was x plus one. It must give us x. So if our x value is one half plus one, equals to also one half. Does this make sense? We have two to divide by two plus one times one is also one plus two divided by one of course this can be over one is two times one is two. Does it give us one half? So when we add the numerator we have three over two equals to one over that of course, definitely not. This is not equivalent. So this is not the solution. Oh my gosh. Somebody help me out with the solution. This one doesn't work. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Peace out.